Hi, this is Bobby Rio from TSB Magazine, and today I want to give you a video review of Pandora's Box System. In this review, I'm going to give you my thoughts on the program. I'm going to tell you about the personality quiz and where you can actually take the pop quiz online. I'm going to talk about the three questions that turn her on. I'm going to go over the eight personality types, and then I'm going to answer the question, does it work? Plus, I'm going to give you a sneak peek inside the strategy guide, which in my opinion is the best part of the program. Um, the Pandora's Box quiz, which you can find at makesmalltalksexy.com forward slash pop quiz, is great because this is um, your first sort of introduction on how to profile women. You can go through nine questions and it'll actually give you the profile of the woman you have in mind. And what I found really interesting about this is that I had a certain woman in mind. She's a, a girl that's had me in the friend zone for, for a long time. And I used the answers to, uh, you know, her question, to the questions, you know, how she would answer them. And it was pretty, uh, pretty shocking that, that she turned out to be what, what, I, what, what Vin refers to as the hopeless romantic, which I'm going to talk about later when I get to types, because it wasn't how I would have pictured her. And I would never have, um, I would never have guessed that, which it shows you how what you might think a girl might respond to. Often, if you get to the core of of of, of these questions, it's going to be a lot different. So, if you haven't already done this profile mind reading quiz, you can do it for free at makesmalltalksexy.com forward slash pop quiz. Uh, the three questions that turn her on. Um, you might have saw the advertisements all over for this and what this three questions is all about it's all about figuring out three things her timeline which determines her dating strategy her sex line which is what she responds to sexually and what you know behaviors turn her on and also her relationship line which is what factors make her see a, a guy fit for a relationship or not uh, Vin has created three different videos that talk about each one of these, the relationship line, the timeline, and the sex line, and gives you an idea of how you can spot di different things about girls so that you know what her view is on these three things, which, when we get to the strategy guide, is what's ultimately most important. So what kind of clues are you looking for? Uh, Vin has given this like, sort of an ex example of how to figure out these, these different things about a girl, where she fits on the relationship line, the sex line, and the timeline. So clue number one, she walked away from a group of all women friends, which means she's likely to have an investor timeline because she surrounds herself with women and more than likely is going to put her energy into fixing her man. Um, we all know those girls who, who have all women friends, that's what it's always about, fixing your man. Um, she has a plainly visible tattoo. Uh, this will make, fit her into the justifier sex line, um, which means you're going to have to use a lot of sexual t tension with a girl like this, or else you could risk being boring. Uh, clue number three would be the accounting textbook, which would fit her into um, the realist, because accounting is, is a very practical profession. It's going to put her in a realist in a relationship line, which means uh, this type of woman needs to feel self-sufficient. And if you do something like try to buy her dinner or try to take too much care of her earlier on, you're going to lose her interest. From these three cues, you can tell almost everything in the world about her, and it's scary accurate as well. All of this is explained much more in the three videos on the, on the, the, the timeline, the relationship line, and the sex line. Um, all the, the whole point of figuring out her views on these is that there's different combinations of views on sex line, uh, relationship line, and timeline, and the different combinations fit a girl into a different personality type. You have the Cinderella, the playette, the hopeful romantic, the connoisseur, the modern woman, the private dancer, the seductress, and the social butterfly. And what Vin does do, and, and what, what I said earlier on, and what I call is the, the best part of the entire program, is the strategy guide. Uh, once you've determined a woman's type, uh, he gives you a strategy guide which tells you exactly how to sort of play this type of woman. Now, um, you know, I've had a chance to go through and read all these different types and sort of use the, the, the quiz to typecast a lot of the girls that I know in my own social circle. 
and I found it to be shockingly accurate. Um, I'm not going to say that every girl fit precisely into into one of these types. Some of them I, I was a little unclear about, um, but most of them, a good percentage of them, probably about 85 to 90 percent of, of the girls that I actually went through and did this with, fit nicely into one of these types. And once you have her type, you can sort of plan out your seduction. Um, for each strategy type, he gives you um, what her desires are, um, how she gets what she wants. He tells you what to say, what kind of body language and touch and sort of physicality to use. And then he talks about what turns her on sexually. And I thought that was one of the most interesting things because I, I've had a lot of girlfriends over the years. And I've got to, 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 to see that what turns a girl on sexually is, is usually not what she's portraying to you. Um, you know, a lot of the girls that portray that sort of bad girl attitude turn out to be like the most boring and bad and the most timid and turned on by the most normal things. Whereas like the shy girls or the girls who are, who are a little bit more self-confident and you don't see that sexual side of them actually turn out to, to be a lot more uh, turned on by different things. And it, it's really interesting how Vin figured this out and actually did a really good job of assigning these different things to the different girls. Um, what else do you learn in Pandora's box? You get the eight personality types based on his research where you'll quickly be able to place pretty much any girl you know into one of these types. And he also teaches you how to do it very quickly. So if you're out at a bar, you can um, figure out a girl's type really quickly. I haven't used it enough at this point to be able to, to type cast girls like within three minutes of meeting them at a bar. I've used it for girls that I've worked with, girls in my social circle, um, girls you know that I'm friends with, um, that I have you know that I have enough of a of a rapport with to know the answers to these questions. Um, but I can see how once you've studied this for a little while, you can go out and actually figure out a girl very quickly. Um, how these different types are likely to act in different situations, different ways you need to proceed when dealing with different types how to approach the different types, types of flirting that they each respond to, how to escalate with each type, how to create deeper connections, how to read her body language. Again, very interesting, and it really helps you judge how interested a girl is. Because a lot of times, you know, you, you think, oh, she's not into me because of the way she's acting. But what you find is that different types of girls show their interest differently. So th this is one of the best things I learned in the course was how to tell what a girl really thinks of you based on what type she is. Um, what type of sex she responds to. Like I said, that's probably the most shocking because it's a lot different than you would have expected. Um, overall, I found this course to be really good. Um, like I said, I've used it mainly for girls that, I, that I, I, I sort of know a little bit about. Girls in my social circle, girls that I work with, um, girls that I've been friends with, maybe my friends, girlfriends, my my girls and I know they're friends. So I've been able to to sort of uh, get a quick answer. Um, I find, you know, that what it's best for, what I can see this being really a game changer, is learning how to play a girl. And what I mean by that is we've all dated those girls or we've met them, talked to them a few times, but we couldn't get them out on a date. Or maybe we got out of them on one date, but we couldn't keep their interest. You know, we couldn't keep their interest after meeting them. And that's because you're not fitting into what, you know, her timeline, her relationship line, and her sex line. What this does is it helps you play a girl. It helps you sort of plan your seduction out, which enables you to keep her interest and keep moving forward and building more and more tension. That's where I think the gold is with Pandora. I think, you know, for cold approaching a woman, if you plan on buying this program and going out to bars and just cold approaching a ton of women, I, I can't tell you if it's... if if it's gonna work or not. I haven't tried it. I can tell you that a girl who you know, maybe it's a girl you're talking to online dating site and you're going back and forth with messages, girls that you have a little bit of time with, um, this is where the gold is. This is where you can really, I wanna say do some evil things because you have so much power. Um, I don't suggest doing the evil things, but when you know how to play a girl, it really puts you in control. So if you want to learn more and watch a, a further video, you can go to makesmalltalksexy.com forward slash Pandora. Makesmalltalksexy.com forward slash Pandora.